Hi. Welcome to Julie's Kitchen again. Uh, so Mark and I have been experimenting with some different raw food recipes. Last night we made a, what was it called? Um, it was a veggie, raw veggie casserole. And I have to say, wasn't exactly the most delicious thing I'd ever tasted. It was not bad. It was just not great. And I think that maybe next time we'll have to amend some of the recipe to see if we can't get to taste a little better if we make it again. Daddy. Tonight, what we're gonna, Daddy. what we are concocting, yeah. is a so uh, I guess a raw spaghetti and marinara sauce. And what I'm doing is I've sliced up zucchini in thin strips. I don't have a a uh, larger grater than this is a very small, fine grade. And if I had a wider one, I might have just done it that way, but I don't have one. So we sliced it up with the slicer and the peeler, and then we're just cutting it into strips to make it look like spaghetti, or fettuccine in this case, <laughs> linguine or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then underneath of that, we also have some, here I think, this, these fine grade ones, this is actually spaghetti squash. So it comes in, it's a big squash, like that, and when it comes out, it actually comes out in strands just like that. You just fork the, you just fork it out like that, and it pulls it out in nice bite-sized strands. So we're going to use that in part of, as part of our, so, spaghetti. And then over here in the Vitamix, which I love our Vitamixer, I had six tomatoes, a handful of basil that we had growing up front, um, half of a tomato, half of a onion, a quarter cup of oil, uh, salt, pepper to taste, two, te two tablespoons of oregano, and I think that was it. I don't have my recipe out right now. Garlic. And garlic, three cloves, three cloves of garlic. Thank you. And um, then it called for four dates. Um, note to self, when you use dates in a Vitamix, make sure to take out the pit, because <laughs> I did not do that, and so I could hear this cling, 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 cling going on in here, and so I probably have little teeny, teeny, tiny granule size pieces of date pit in there, but what are you going to do? Next time we'll know better, but it tastes very, very good. It's actually um, very different than um, a store-bought marinara sauce, it's almost as though as you have it in your mouth longer, the flavors will change. You'll you'll start tasting tomato and then basil and then salt and it just kind of changes. It's very interesting. I've never kind of experimented with this stuff before. And the Vitamix actually heated it for us so I don't have to go and um, use another pot in order to heat it up a little bit. So, this is our dinner tonight. I'm quite excited. Hopefully, it'll all taste really good. The sauce tastes awesome so far. And um, that's it. Thanks for Julie coming to Julie's Kitchen, and I'll uh, see you next time.